The IMAX system has been designed to provide imaging for the diagnosis and treatment of the pancreaticobiliary system and to provide a working channel for other diagnosis and treatment accessories. The instructional video is intended as a supplementary guide on the proper inspection and preparation of the IMAX cholangioscope. Before using the IMAX scope, it is important to read the instructions for use in its entirety to ensure safety and functionality. Prior to use, inspect the expiration date on the package and choose a scope that has not expired. Ensure that the sterile packaging is intact and free of damage, holes, or tears. Do not use the IMAX scope if the packaging is damaged, as sterility may be compromised. Remove the IMAX scope from the sterile package and check for any damage. Visually inspect the entire surface of the insertion portion. Then visually inspect the distal tip of the insertion portion of the scope for damage, including dents, prominences, cracks, or holes. Check the handle, working channel port, irrigation, and aspiration ports. Ensure there is no loosening or damage to any of the components. Ensure the articulation lock is released and gently turn the steering knobs on the handle. Confirm the articulation section moves smoothly and is stable. Do not straighten the articulation section by hand as this may damage the control mechanism. Power on the IMAX video controller and inspect for any damage. Then connect the avitation connector to the controller when prompted on the screen by lining up the red dot on the avitation connector of the scope to the red dot on the connection port of the video controller. Confirm that it is completely inserted and the image is displayed on the screen. To connect the irrigation tubing, connect the tubing to the irrigation port of the IMAX scope. If using a peristaltic pump, follow the instructions provided with the device. Only use irrigation tubing with a single-use, one-way valve to prevent potential fluid backflow, contamination, and cross-infection. To connect suction, connect the suction tubing to the aspiration port of the IMAX scope. If necessary, adjust the suction control valve. Prior to using the Y port adapter, visually inspect the adapter and ensure the working channel port is open. To use the injection aspiration port of the Y port adapter, remove the lure lock cap. Use the lure connector to connect the desired injection or aspiration source. If desired, connect the Y port adapter to the working channel port on the IMAX scope handle. When the IMAX scope is equipped with a hook assembly, such as models CD63681 and CD63691, it can be attached to the duodenoscope using the hook. Place the hook part of the handle over the biopsy port of the duodenoscope. Clip the scope onto the handle of the duodenoscope. Ensure that it is secure. When the IMAX scope is equipped with a C-clamp assembly, such as models CD63701 and CD63761, it can be attached to the duodenoscope using the C-clamp. Place the clamp part of the IMAX scope onto the boot of the duodenoscope. Clip the scope onto the handle of the duodenoscope. Ensure that it is secure. To white balance, point the distal tip of the scope directly in front or around a white non-reflective surface. Press the AWB button on the IMAX controller. The prompts on the screen, white balancing, and white balance done will be displayed. The scope is now ready for use. When removing the IMAX scope from the controller, with two hands, place one on the data cable connector of the scope and the other on the boot of the data cable just before the connector. Pull back on the data cable connector while leaving the other hand holding the boot of the data cable stationary. Withdraw both hands simultaneously to disconnect the scope from the controller. By following these steps, you ensure the IMAX scope is ready for use.